Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. Coming back again to do a YouTube because we don't put one out every night, but with these market conditions, there's a lot of analysis that can be uh, refined using candlestick signals and logic. So tonight, or today in the chat room, we were getting constant questions on should we be shorting this market? We're going to answer that with using candlestick logic. And we're going to do a follow-up. We did a power candlestick signal uh, situation yesterday that didn't work out. Now, I should have put some caveats in the analysis, so we're going to go through that. So, should we be re uh, shorting this market? Well, as we saw, this is where... We should have been starting to short. You could also have been shorting here. But look at all the things that are not a high probability situation to be shorting right now. One, we're getting back into the oversold condition. Two, what's the nature of this market? Well, there's wild oscillations. Big up day. Big down day, big up day, big down day. Opens lower, trades up. Gaps down, trades down. Do you know what this market is going to do to tomorrow? We have no earthly idea. Whatever might be announced tonight could send this market skyrocketing. Or they could take it down. When I say or, we have no idea which way they're planning to take this market. Three, we have to use the rationale that the Japanese rice traders tell us where the most people sell. They are panic selling at the bottom. That's another reason why the uh, probabilities are starting to go against you as far as shorting in this area. And four, remember our simple rule that the further you move away from the T-line, the higher the probability is going to come back up and test it. So shorting the market at the, in these conditions are more apt to be based upon that you think the market's going down further. So if you are shorting anything in tomorrow's trading, it probably should have very good, strong sell uh, charts but as you've seen, a lot of the charts that have sold off and in individual stocks are already well in the oversold area with this market being oversold. So if you're short, you better be ready for any wild oscillation because of the uh, factors that have already been de developing with the massive selling going on down in this area. And I was kind of remiss saying that here was a very strong bullish situation where you see doji gap up, doji gap up. We showed illustrations on some of the other shipping stocks where they had big 30% price moves yesterday. So the recommendation that you could watch to see if there was going to be a big strong move because of this should also have the caveat of what we call 2 plus 2 analysis. That is, we want to see it open positive, show a good strong showing, but there's other things that you have to take into account. Like when you wake up and you discover they're going to be gapping down again, the market opened up down, what, five or 600 points and continued to trade lower. That would have told you that any buying today, you better be very convinced that they're still buying. So just because there's a strong price move setup in candlestick analysis, you still have to use the common sense of what is the market in general telling us. So even though there was a high prospect or a high probability that after some gap ups, uh, EURN could have traded higher, you still had to watch to see what, what the overall reaction was going to be based upon the selling. That's what I call 2 plus 2 analysis, 
make sure your stars are in alignment, that the market's opening and trading in the right direction, as well as the stock opening and trading in the right direction. That does not mean there isn't good, uh, good chart setups out there. Lake is a perfect example of what we call reverse engineering analysis. We've got a strong buy signal. There's your morning star signal that bounced off the 50-day moving average. Today's positive trading closed above the T-line, and it's doing a scoop-type pattern. But why the heck would you want to buy something when the market is just cratering? Because the reverse engineering analysis says they were buying this stock today. Why? And we already know that Lake is one of the uh, uh, medical supply companies that would help or have great benefit from the, uh, the virus situation. So the reverse engineering is, even though we see a strong buy signal, what's making that buy signal occur in these market conditions? If it correlates with a analyzing that they're going to benefit, uh, their uh, sales are going to benefit from the, the virus uh, pandemic situation, yeah, that gives you much more logical reason to buy a candlestick buy signal in these market conditions. So thank you for listening. If you're thinking of shorting this market, it better be a very compelling uh, reason to short because we don't know whether this market is going to open positive and trade up 800 points tomorrow or whether it's going to open down 400 points and immediately start trading positive. The probabilities right now indicate that we're well in the oversold area. If you have kept your powder dry, you got cash available, these are market conditions where you probably want to watch more for a strong buy signal or a reversal so that you can take advantage of being able to buy at the bottom. Thank you for listening. We'll see you in the chat rooms.